Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Good evening. How is everybody feeling? Yes, this is a blessed night, an incredible night. So thank you for being here. If you've read his book, even this I get to experience, then you know everything I'm about to say. If you haven't, you should get it. <laughs> because what I'm about to share with you is just a brief view of a life that is rich with story and laughs and love. Norman Lear was born in New Haven, Connecticut in 1922. And at the age of 92, has more energy than many men I know, like myself, <laughs> or, or men half his age. He won admission to college after winning an oratorical contest called What the Constitution Means to Me, but dropped out of school to enlist in the Army during World War, World War II, where he flew 52 missions as a radio operator gunner on B-17 bombers in Europe. He began his TV writing career in 1950 when he wrote for the Ford Star Review and the Colgate Comedy Hour. And his directing career began in 1958 with the film he wrote and directed called Divorce American Style. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that would garner him an Academy Award nomination for writing. Around the time I was born, 1972, he started creating the shows that define my childhood. Shows like All in the Family, Maud, Sanford and Son, Good Times, The Jeffersons, One Day at a Time, and Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman. Yes. As I go down the list of all those shows, each one of those shows that has some effect upon my life, and I must say specifically shows like Good Times and the Jeffersons that really gave America a new look at black life and showed America what a black family could be, whether growing up in an impoverished area or a family like the Jeffersons, who we saw was moving on up. <laughs> well, the, imp the impact that these shows had upon us as young black kids was phenomenal. It really taught us, in many ways, who we were and what we could be, and to see that money didn't determine really what a black family is and what pride is and what dignity was. When you saw the good times and you saw how the mother, the matriarch, ran the family, and the father was there to support the family, but at the same token, it was a family, and, and the, the neighborhood and the village helped support each other. It was a beautiful depiction and, and look at what black life is and what it could be, and I hope that it taught us all what, what black life is and what black life could be. And I must say that those shows really had a big influence on us as hip-hop artists, so many times you hear references to some of Norman's shows in, in rap songs and music abroad and pop culture because it really was a way for us to relate to each other. We could talk about what J.J. did last night or, or what happened with, with Wheezy. <laughs> so we love these shows. And I mean, for me to get the opportunity to even be in the presence of Norman Lear, the, the creator of these shows, is, is that much of an honor for me. So I just want to say that. Well, but Norman wasn't happy just creating great art because that's what his shows are. They are art. Art that have won four Emmys and a Peabody Award and made him a force to be reckoned with on the TV screen and on the political scene. He took a look at the world around him and realized that there was more he could do. So he walked away from the shows and the paycheck, and in 1980, started working full time on the creation of an organization, People for the American Way, 
That, 30 years later, remains a powerful voice for the principles of fairness and justice in this country and against the intolerant voices of religious fundamentalism in our country. So, Norman Lear is a war hero, he's a writer, he's an artist, he's an activist, he's a father, he's a husband, he's a grandfather, he's the kind of guy who can create characters and stories that influence your life, profoundly influence your life, and yet, you can still meet him and think, this guy is my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so proud to introduce to you my friend, Norman Lear. <laughs> 